The governor's new order goes until the end of the month, putting more stringent guidelines in place, too. That's right. The governor's latest action to flatten the curve comes the same day we lost more than 117 more people in the state of Michigan. Cases statewide up to 21,504 people. The death toll has now topped 1,000. Tonight, the Republican-controlled legislature pushing back, calling the governor's new order an overreach. Mar McDonald is live in Bloomfield Township tonight. Mar, some of those new guidelines include what big box stores can and cannot sell. So, Kimberly, here's what happens. When everybody goes to a Lowe's or a Menards or a Home Depot, here's what they're going to see. Whole categories of merchandise that are going to be cordoned off and that you will be unable to buy. Things like gardening supplies, paint, carpeting, flooring, and furniture. It is no surprise the governor is extending the stay-at-home order. Now is not the time to pull back at all. It is the time to intensify. But some of the new restrictions on things like gardening supplies are being criticized as lacking in common sense. If people are going to be staying at home, I don't see a reason why they couldn't be improving their homes while they're here. Shepard is on the GOP leadership team in the House, which has made it clear they believe this order goes too far. Speaker of the House Lee Chatfield weighing in with, quote, people in our state are hurting, family-owned businesses have been run to the ground, and hundreds of thousands of people have lost their jobs because of it. Unemployment is skyrocketing, and our government has not been there to answer the call. We deserve better. This is unacceptable. Other new restrictions, no going back and forth between property you own in the state or vacation rentals. The governor, for her part, views these measures as common sense and necessary to stop the spread. Every single exception to a stay home, stay safe order makes this more porous and makes it less likely to work. It means more people are going to get sick, more people are going to die, and more our economy is going to suffer for longer. Back here live, um, the governor had been lobbied to try and ease up restrictions on landscaping and lawn care services. She did not do that. Those restrictions are still in place. That said, if you have a mower, you can cut your own lawn. We're live in Bloomfield Township tonight. Devin, Kimberly, back to you. Mara, I'm wondering about some of the rules that are inside stores now. She talked about some new rules. What did she say? You know, she did. She did do some new things, Kimberly, and a lot of stores were already doing them. But just so don't so nobody is surprised when they hit the grocery stores or anything else. If it is a small store, they can only have up to a certain level of occupancy, like 25 mm percent -hmm. of their total occupancy. So likely you're going to have to wait outside as they count how many people are in for big stores like you know, Menards or whatever, they're, she wants them to limit people to four people per 1,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Like if I go to my local Costco, they're already doing things similar to that. And don't be uh, surprised if you see tape mm -hmm. all over the floors in these stores to try and promote social distancing. Yeah, some of the Thank aisles you. they're even making one way uh, in, in one of the grocery stores yep. I was just in uh, this weekend. Okay, Mara, we appreciate your report. Devin.